Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, this is a snow day, okay? I am at home from work, <laughs> living the good life. <laughs> so, I was like, let me go ahead and film a couple of videos, even though I didn't want to do nothing, honey. I didn't want to put on makeup. I didn't want to take my hair down. I didn't, I didn't want to do anything, but I said, girl, go ahead and film a couple of videos so you can stay on track and talk with, you know, my friends about beauty, okay? So, this is January 31st. And usually I'm planning to film and post this. Usually I wait to post my empties video on the first day of the new month. I try to wait until to make sure I'm not going to use up anything else. But I triple checked and I'm not going to use up anything else, you know, before tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to do these empties today. It is a humongous empties, y'all. I couldn't even let me, look at this, which you saw in the thumbnail. I couldn't even fit all of everything in the bag. So, I'm just telling you now, it's going to be a long one. Get a drink, get a snack, because, yeah, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> so, let's just get started. And no, I'm just grabbing. Y'all know how I do. So, this is Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. So, y'all, at first I was like, oh i'm not liking my hair with this i don't know it's not as it's not as defined as i would like my curls to be but you know this will be a nice change i've noticed um i received compliments really the same amount of compliments with this curling custer as i do with my other stylers that i like and I was thinking, when I don't want a gel, when I want my hair super soft, because, you know, sometimes with gel, your hair isn't as soft as it could be. This kept my hair really soft, and it was more of, to me and my definition, it was a looser um, definition of my curls that I didn't hate, but I didn't love. But I, I'm going to repurchase this. I already know because when I'm in the mood for not using a gel, this would be a good alternative. It's $6 and something. I'm all about that price point. So, yeah, I will repurchase this. I did like it for super soft hair. That's the main thing I liked it for, super soft hair. And, you know, my hair still looked nice. But my main reason for repurchasing this would be because it left my hair super soft and it's a nice alternative when sometimes you just don't feel like a gel. So yeah, I will repurchase the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La cut Curl and Custard. I don't know when, but I will repurchase it. Woo! See, I'm knocking stuff over. Um, this is the three pack of bath bombs that I got from TJ Maxx. I think you've all seen this before. This had rose water, berry vanilla, and lavender because I bought quite a few of these because they were such a good deal. I'm not really impressed with these bath bombs. The most, I think the one that gives the most like fragrance to the water is the berry vanilla. And they're I, I, I want my Lush or Nectar Bath Treats bath bombs. So I'm going to use these up and then I'm going to to go and, and get me some from those places that I know I love. This was a nice alternative to save some money. You know, it tints the water, um, but it's, it's not, they're not like great bath bombs, but they're okay for the price point because I believe these were six bucks. I finished up my Hello toothpaste. Y'all know I love this. It's the only toothpaste I use. This is my Vagisil Odor Block Dry Spray. This is, I think I use one of these a month that I've come to realize in my empty. So y'all know about this. I use this on my underwear, on my pants, whatever, just for extra freshness to ensure no odor throughout the day. 
I finished this Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray in Lavender Fresh. Um, if you all have been watching my... <laughs> y'all, as stuff is falling out this bag because it is so full. But if y'all have been watching my empties videos, I have been focusing on using up my um, dry sprays because I bought a bunch at one time and they're all getting ready to expire. And I'm not letting myself buy any more until I finish the ones I have now. So I finished this one. This is one... This reminds me of a baby powder scent with a strong dose of aromatic lavender. I like it. I didn't love it. Um, I can't, this didn't make it to the list of the ones I finished up where I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to repurchase this. But I can see myself repurchasing it at some point because I do have some fragrances with lavender, you know. So I can see myself getting this again. It's a like, not a love. I finished this Toasted Marshmallow Body Oil from Ancient Cosmetics. Y'all, okay, I love the Ancient Cosmetics body oils, but in this set, Toasted Marshmallow, I really don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this. It, it reminds me of Sugar Milk Co's Marshmallow Fluff Perfume Oil, but worse. And I'm not saying that perfume oil is bad, but it's not the marshmallow I was looking for. It's more of a marshmallow cotton candy scent to me. This is like a marshmallowy medicinal scent to me, like cough syrup scent. And, you know, <sighs> Yeah, I just didn't fall in love with this marshmallow. Um, will I ever purchase it again? Who knows? Who knows? You know how we do. But I know I will repurchase more of their body oils, but this wouldn't be a scent. Let me smell it one more time, y'all. This wouldn't be a scent I would be rushing to get. It really wouldn't. I could see myself, if I needed to add another product to you know, reach a certain point to get free shipping or something, I might throw it in there because I don't hate it, but I don't love it, you know? And it's not even a like, it's a, it's a, the scent of it, but the formulation and the way it left my skin, very soft, very hydrated, 10 out of 10. So who knows? when or if I will get the toasted marshmallow body oil again. This is a Glade uh, fragrance plug-in in marshmallow Irish cream. I really do enjoy this. Um, it lasts a pretty good while. It keeps the downstairs smelling really good. So yeah, um, I have, I think, four or five more of these. So I will be using these up, you know, within this, the, the last tail end of winter before I move into more spring light scents. But I do like this and I can't see me repurchasing that again, you know, next year. Okay, this is a candle in hot cocoa and cream. Y'all, this smells like, what do you say this? Ooh, it smells, well now it smells like smoke. <laughs> but usually it smells like hot cocoa and cream and that is a candle that i can see myself repurchasing i really did enjoy um that candle we also finished this candle in spice cardamom this was just okay um this has a lot of cinnamon spice and i'm not about that um i think this was 75 percent off you know it was nice to put on the uh, banister that overlooks where the game room is and we have a nook and put different candles there to kind of, you know, it'll migrate between the upstairs and the downstairs. And it was nice for that, but it is not a candle that I would be like, woo, it's so memorable. You know, like hot cocoa and cream, I can see myself wanting to get that. It's like put away, I like it, I would want to get it again. This is one, it has to be 75% off and the only thing, you know, 75% off for me to want to get it again. Okay, I finished up this, what is this called? Spa Life Lip Mask. 
and I kept it in there. I keep this in my beauty fridge on my vanity. My lips have been really dry. And so I use this lip mask. It's a nice treat. I don't know if it's something that's, you know, wow, the results were outstanding. But it's fun, it's nice, it's cooling, it's relaxing. And I have a few more of these and I plan to, you know, use them up. Would I repurchase these? I wouldn't be in a hurry to, but if I saw them again, and like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls where I purchased these, I would, you know, I might, depending on how much money I wanted to spend that day, would say, oh, do I want to, you know, get this again? But is it high up on my list? No. Whoo! Okay. Y'all hold on because i don't want to get cut because i have a story about something in here okay so this i wanted to show this this is the oxyclean stain remover and i love this so i've always used shout grew up with shout that's what my mom used so i never deviated tried this really liked it so i just wanted to show it so i have repurchased this already but a different rendition well a different version of it so we'll see how that one goes i would say to me it's a little bit better than shout because i've noticed shout wasn't removing stains as quickly and easily as i remember uh, you know when i was younger um using it as a teenager you know uh, you know when my parents would buy it so i'm liking the oxyclean also finished up this i wanted to show this lysol laundry sanitizer in crisp linen and y'all i don't know if this does what it says but i feel you know it's both it says kills cold and flu viruses tested and proven to kill you know the c19 virus and you know i don't know if it does that but I feel like my clothes are cleaner while using this. And I feel like I'm doing, giving my clothes, you know, some extra protection or whatever. So I'm going to repurchase this also. Woohoo! Okay. Next in here, this is the Body Ecology Cozy Fireside S'mores 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash. So, y'all, this smells like Bonfire Bash from... Bath and Body Works with just like a hint of a chocolatey note. This, I, I love this. Would I repurchase it? Yes, I would. Am I in a hurry to repurchase it? No, I'm not. So this would be something maybe next season if I wanted a bubble bath because mainly i use this for a bubble bath i would get this to maybe go with my last bonfire bash set i have or something like that or maybe even purchase instead of bonfire bash if i wanted to save some money so i, I could see myself repurchasing this but it's not a rush i also finished up another body ecology uh body wash and bubble bath in pink vanilla wish I use this predominantly as a bubble bath also. This just, this is a sweet, pretty, uh, syrupy floral scent. Reminds me of the Miss Dior perfumes. I can see myself repurchasing this, but again, I'm not in a hurry to repurchase them because I have other bubble baths in my collection to go through, but I can see myself repurchasing this, you know, at some day. This is the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. So this is a good leave-in conditioner to refresh your curls when you're wetting your hair. So I use this, I ran out of conditioner, so I started using this as a conditioner after I shampooed my hair, and I loved it for that too. And I would rinse it out and my hair felt good. So yeah, I can see myself repurchasing this. But again, not right now because I'm not wetting my hair. And usually that's how I predominantly would want to use this. Like spring, summer to refresh my curls. So for now, I'm good. But I can see myself repurchasing this again. Woo! Okay. I used, uh, well, I finished the Garnier, um, what is this? It's hair dye, y'all. So this is what I use to cover those pesky grays that I've been dealing with since I was 18. So this is a good uh, hair dye. I have no complaints, except I don't think it's even been three or, I don't even think it's been a month. And like, I'm seeing some gray, 
I guess where my hair is growing. And I'm like, dang, that I just cannot. I'm not a hair person, y'all. Hair wears me out. And I am not, I just can't stand it. So I, I just wish it would last longer, you know. But it is a good hair dye. To me, it doesn't look harsh. It's, I, I just like it. I really like the Garnier hair dye, and I will repurchase again. Okay, this is my brother's. He finished up the Tom's deodorant in North Woods. He said he really likes this and would repurchase it. He also finished up this deodorant uh, in the Dove Sea Salt and Wild Lavender. He said he really liked this Dove one and that he would repurchase it again also. He also finished up this Equate uh, mouthwash. You know, he said it's just a cheap mouthwash and he would get it again. You know, trying to save some money where we can in this uh, time of inflation as I'm knocking over more things. He also finished up a box of Q-tips. And I, funny story, um, he was, and of course he's going to buy Q-tips again. He was shopping at HEB and I said, why did you get a pack? It was like a four or five pack of Q-tips. And he said, because this was the same price as that one pack, one package there. So keep that in mind, y'all shop around shop around try to find the best deal and he finished um some hand sanitizers he finished this from bath and body works a thousand wishes in the hand sanitizer spray he said he's not picky about hand sanitizers he just wants them and he wants them for a great deal um he finished this in peach prosecco macaron and I was telling him, I said, you left a little bit of hand sanitizer in all these. And he said, well, it didn't come out easily, so it's empty to him. This is the bourbon one he finished, the pocket back. And this is uh, frosted cranberry that he also finished, in his opinion. Because to me, that's not empty. But he told me it was empty to him. And he finished this Colgate Max Fresh toothpaste. He said this toothpaste was nothing special, but if it was on sale, he would get it again. Okay. He also finished this uh, hand soap in White Waves. He said he did like this, but it's not one that stood out enough to where he'd be looking for it. But if it was on sale for 75% off at Bath & Body Works, he would get it again. I finished up a hand soap and blackberries and basil. Y'all, this packaging, I love. I'm a pink, purple girl. I just love the soaps in this packaging. I enjoyed the blackberries and basil scent. And I think I have one more of these. I'm not sure. But I would repurchase this again on sale, you know, in this, if they brought this packaging back. I just love this packaging. Okay, I also finished up this Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Y'all, I got this in a kit. It is, it's decent, but it did not blow my mind with my skin. And I know full price, this is, I think this is 50 plus, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but I know it's expensive. And I don't think it's worth that. So now I have like a set, a kit from Sephora. I was waiting to open until I finished this with the Polish Choice Exfoliate. So we're going to see. I'm on the hunt for a, a good exfoliator because the, the physical exfoliators like this one is. And I use this as a two-minute mask to, it was just okay though. You know, it was decent, but for the price of this, no way, no how. Not for me. So I'm just, I'm trying out different exfoliators for my face. Oh, I finished another deodorant. This is the Dove Dry Spray and Original Clean. This is one, I sometimes felt like this smells sour um, when I would use this. And it was only with, I don't know why. It's something in here that if I sprayed too much, I had to spray the exact right amount with this one. If I sprayed too much, I would feel like it was a little sour. So, I don't know about this one. I don't know. Usually, I'll give things another try because I do like the way it smells. I, it's a, like that lavender one. I'm not in love with it, though. It's good, but I'm not in love with it or missing it or anything. So I don't know if I would repurchase this one. We will have to wait and see. 
I also finished up this uh, Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. So this mask was nice. Um, again, it was nice. It says it's supposed to lift and firm and re-energize your skin's appearance, tighten the look of skin, um, give you a glow. It was a nice mask. These are masks, though. These masks from Peter Thomas Roth, I wouldn't purchase these on their own. I think they're very expensive. The only way I would get these is in a kit because they're nice, but I don't think they're transformational masks for your skin. So, again, they're nice. I like them, but I would only purchase these in a kit. Okay, y'all, I had to stop and empty the bag because, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was just like getting overwhelmed. So I also finished this Method Body Wash in Coconut and Rice Milk in the Simply Nourish. Um, this is a body wash that I, I got tired of. It's a very warm, very lactonic scent. And if you've been watching me, I'm picky with lactonic fragrances what no matter what they're in because it can turn my stomach some things is too gourmand or some some notes is too lactonic so it can just kind of make me sick to my stomach and this didn't make me sick to my stomach but i did get tired of it and i've come to notice i'm not a huge fan of the method body washes so for now i'm gonna say i'm not gonna repurchase this is it a good body wash yes if you like that scent which i know some people love yes it's a good one for fall winter especially or nighttime whenever you want something it's like a nice warm smells like i'm not a milk drinker but think of like warm sweet milk that some people might drink or something like that that's what it gives me but i can't see myself repurchasing this at least not anytime soon um because i never say never because you never know but right now it is nowhere on my horizon that i want to get this again Woo! and i'm dropping it okay so this is the bah bahamas passion fruit and banana flower soap i didn't finish this y'all i have noticed with bath and body Works soaps if you if you're gonna you you can't just open them and leave them out in the shower because i used up the white kiki beach coconut one and then i started using another soap and i left that one out and i would you left this one out and i would use it occasionally but then the longer it set and it wasn't too long it was like the scent disappeared, which they weren't heavily fragranced anyway. Um, I don't love the formulation of these soaps. And then it started doing that peeling thing. I said, you know, I'm done. Because I don't, I can't smell anything anyway. I don't love the way it makes my skin feel. So I said, I'm done fooling with this soap. So I threw it in the trash. <laughs> now, I also finished up this bar soap. This is the Dove Calming um, Oatmeal and Rice Milk Scent. This is a nice soap. It's, ve it's very light uh, fragrance. It's lightly fragranced. It's not strong. It is like a comforting scent. And it performs like all the Dove soap. Left my skin feeling wonderful. So yeah, I like this. Don't need to repurchase it because I have plenty more, honey. Okay, I also finished up this Tongue Gel Cleaner in Fresh Mint. I've already repurchased this. I do like this um, just to use with my tongue brush because all the extra freshness we can do for our mouth is greatly appreciated by, my, by yourself, by myself, and others around you. <laughs> okay, y'all, I finished up these wipes in uh, the HEB Reliance Flushable Wipes. I will be getting more of these. I think these are my wipes, y'all. I I have been I've tried a few wipes and these are the ones I like the best. So I will be repurchasing these. I just haven't been to the store yet, but I really was impressed. They weren't too wet, they weren't too dry. I will say they kind of broke apart easily, but I'm all about the consistency, the wet to dry consistency. And to me, these were perfect, so I will be repurchasing. I also uh, finished up this conditioner that came with my 
coloring my hair the garnier and i always say this when i finish a box of dye i wish that they would sell the conditioner they put in those kits because they're the best conditioners i've ever used period so yeah finish that up okay y'all i'm getting tired oh my goodness i have one more that is like home so let me show you this we finished the butterfly um concentrated room spray from bath and body works this is nice long lasting it's it's very springy but hey we were running low before i purchased some and use what you got because your house smells good and <laughs> so use that it's good i also finished up another glade plug-in and this is in the vanilla scent so i have like the marshmallow one downstairs and the vanilla upstairs and they go well together and i really enjoy this and will continue to use them up until they're all gone um let's see i also finished up this peach and lily wild dew treatment essence y'all i love this i enjoyed it it felt good on my skin it just felt so good i don't really know if it did you know it hydrated my skin it made my skin feel good i will get this again especially if i can catch it on sale that's how i got it this time and i love it and i will repurchase it so i have a couple of glosses here that aren't empty but i'm done with them this is the victoria's secret satin gloss in grapefruit blast so i've used quite a bit of this especially um during masking season that's when i was using this and this is too much glitter this isn't shimmer this is glitter and i don't when i was in my younger days even in you know uh high school and that, i don't like glitter i I don't mind shimmer but especially when i do this and i can feel the glitter I, just no so this is going away you know it was it, it it served its purpose this is when i bought this kit of glosses and for one gloss so this is one I put a substantial dent in for someone who does not like this at all. Glitter was all on the mask, all over my face. I'm not about that. Now this is one I've used almost all the way up. This is Mocktail Hour. But y'all, this is so sticky. I don't know what it is, why this gloss is so much stickier than the other glosses. I don't understand. And it's sticky enough to the point that it annoys me. It really does. Especially when you know, and it's just globs of stuff no matter what you do. And I just can't stand it. And again, this is not much color payoff. This was just in the kit and to get the, the slice of heaven gloss I wanted. And I'm done forcing myself to use it. So this is going in the trash. Well, if I drop one more thing before I get finished this video. Okay, it's getting annoying. So this is the Gucci Mascara. I got this with some order. I don't even remember where. This lip gloss, lip, oh my goodness, this mascara it was nothing special. And I know Gucci, I know this is probably 30 plus dollars. Nope, it, it, it didn't blow. I can't even, I just remember going, is this it? Because it, it didn't really, it didn't impress me much at all. This is the Lash Craft Big Volume uh, Mascara from Sephora. This was, it was okay. Um, yeah, it was just okay. This mascara, if I'm remembering correctly, I just felt like it got, as I was applying it, it was like mascara got all over my eyelid, which drove me crazy. So this is not on my list to repurchase. Okay, the last makeup item I have here, this is the Freck um, Cream Blush in Fielding. And I couldn't, this one, you know, since it's, I couldn't like close it all the way. I couldn't use it all because it dried out. I used it until it dried out. I like these Freck blushes, cream blushes. I've already add th added them to my uh, Sephora wish list. 
because I think I want to get a couple of cream blushes for the spring summer months because I hadn't used the cream blush in forever. The last cream blush I, I remember having in my collection was a NYX pink blush that when I would wear it, people would, I would get compliments on it. Um, and so, yeah, this, this made me remember this little sample I got from Sephora. It made me remember that I want some cream blushes back in my collection. So, yeah, I did enjoy this. Now, this color, uh, to me, I don't know. It wasn't my favorite color. I also used a Cuffed last month. That's the one I really, really want. I see they have three. I haven't tried the Jam Sesh. That looks really dark. This is one that's kind of brick to me. Um, I probably wouldn't get fielding for spring, summer. So Cuffed is the one I'm looking at right now to purchase, you know, closer to spring. But yeah, I did enjoy these uh, cream blushes. Oh, y'all. Okay, I also finished up this Firecracker Pop pocket bag. I thoroughly enjoyed this cherry kool-aid i i love firecracker pop i use that when i was using up my sugar cherry crisp duo which i finished the mist and the body cream love sugar cherry crisp i have one more fragrance mist in my collection i mean I love it top tier i did a what to wear with this if you haven't seen it i will link it above check it out so finish up this vanilla remix lotion uh for victoria's secret this is black vanilla and amber sparks this is a it, it's a plummy to me and my nose a plummy ambery vanilla i did enjoy using this lotion and um I wouldn't repurchase it though if I again unless I could get a matching mist because I I'm just not about that life. I need the mist. That's just how I am. But I did enjoy this lotion. I I purchased it at an outlet, Victoria's Secret outlet, and I enjoy using it. So yeah, um, that's empty. I also finished this fancy by Jessica Simpson fragrance mist, y'all. This mist smells so good. I have the perfume. I use this in the shower on my body. It's good. If I saw this again, I can see myself repurchasing this. Not right now. Not right now. But I can see myself smell. Because when I smelled this, this made me repurchase the perfume after not having it in my collection for about a decade. Because I was like, this smells good. So, I can see myself repurchasing it. I just don't know, you know, when. But it's good. Especially if you love Jessica Simpson's Fancy. It is nice. I would not say it's the longest lasting mist. But it is nice to smell. I also finished um, the Sweet Whiskey Fragrance Mist. Y'all, Sweet Whiskey is good. But as I've said, uh in previous videos this is a type of fragrance for me i don't need multiples of so i have one more in my collection and i'm going to take my time with it because it is not as good but i'm more of a very feminine girly i want to smell very feminine yeah this is not feminine this is unisex this is boozy and that's not the way I like to smell all the time, the majority of the time. So while I enjoyed this, this fragrance mist, it's not one that I will ever say I need three bottles of at one time in my collection. But it is good, and I did do a what to wear with video with that. I'll link it above. Also, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I also finished this fragrance mist, Fireside Flurries. Y'all, this is good stuff. This is the lighter, pinker version of Bonfire Bash. That's what I always say. It's the easiest way to describe it. I got to wearing this. I It was about right here, I believe. And I just got to wearing it and said, I'm, 
I'm just, I'm enjoying this. So I'm just going to finish it up. I have one more bottle in my collection. So I'm good. I don't have to worry about trying to repurchase it. So yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed Fireside Flurries. I also finished this Bodycology Cozy Fireside S'mores Fragrance Mist. I just got to using this and then the bubble bath. And I was like, I'm just going to finish it up because I had... I finished up bun, I've said a bonfire bash last year. And then I'm, I finished this up this year, except for the cream. So that gives me two more bonfire bashes in my collection. And I wanted to cut it in half, y'all. But I do really like this. It's a great affordable dupe for bonfire bash. And most people say they don't smell the chocolate. I smell the barest hint, and I do like it. To me, it adds a smoothness and takes away some of the smokiness that's in the original Bonfire Bash. So I can see myself repurchasing this. Not anytime soon, but I can see myself uh, repurchasing Cozy Fireside S'mores from Bodycology again. I also finished up this Bare Vanilla Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret along with the matching lotion. I mean, y'all know what bare vanilla smells like. It smells like a warm, creamy vanilla scent. Um, very, when I wear this, I've been told, oh, you smell like cookies. It's not a perfumey vanilla, but it's also, I wouldn't say a strictly gourmand vanilla to my nose. It's more of a creamy, whipped, warm vanilla. And sometimes I feel like I get a, a hint of woodiness in this also, but I do en enjoy it. Um, I'm not planning to repurchase Bare Vanilla anytime soon because I want to use up some flankers. But I do plan to have this original back in my collection one day because it's just good for base layering. Just a good vanilla mist duo, period, in my opinion. So I will repurchase it. I just don't know when because I want to, you know, use up some of the flankers, you know, to dwindle down the collection some. Ooh, okay, y'all. I don't know where the top is to this. I finished up the Happy Birthday Fragrance Mist from Bath and Body Works. This I use mostly as a shower spray, but also on my body because I just wanted to smell this. And I was enjoying smelling it in the shower. And this smells like Mary uh, Cookie to me. I know some people say it smells like, you know, a vanilla cake scent to me and my nose it smells just like mary cookie and i had two mary cookies in my collection so i said i'm just going to use this one up so i don't just have a bunch of minis and i thoroughly enjoyed it okay this is the last mist this is pumpkin pecan waffles y'all i use this on my on my body some and i couldn't do it it's it's too nutty syrupy for me it's just not my vibe it is not my vibe so i use this as a room spray so i liked it as a room spray and i have to say this lasted in the air for hours so it is long lasting and i wish i liked it on my body but it's like i said it's too syrupy and nutty for me it's, it's just not for me on my body so i can't see myself repurchasing this um i can't see myself but you know your nose changes so i like i said i i never say never but right now it's not on my radar and again that is pumpkin pecan waffles and with the merry with the happy birthday which i say is uh merry cookie repackaged i would get this again okay whoo all right y'all so this looks toe up from the flow up this is the herbivore coconut hydrating milk bath soak i don't even want to put this up close to the camera okay so i got this as a gift and a gift set i did enjoy this it's a smell like a very creamy coconut scent that i really enjoy but i don't know why it turned like that which i am not a fan of so would i repurchase this um 
or would I purchase it for myself? I don't know. It was nice in the bath. I don't like that it's glass, which you're about to see why on this next product. Um, yeah, I feel like I can find things that perform like that for a more affordable price. But if I'm getting into, if I'm in a treat myself mode or something, I can see myself getting it, but not anytime soon. Like I'm not thinking about purchasing that for myself right now at all. So I also finished up this Calm Herbivore uh, Ylang Ylang Vanilla Soaking Salts. So this is why I don't like glass products in the bathroom. I thought I had screwed this top all the way on, went to pick it up like this, and it slipped and crashed to the floor, and it was a hot mess. So these were nice. They were fragrant. I did enjoy them. But again, the same as the coconut bath soak. These are expensive. This was a kit um, that, like I said, was a gift, and I did enjoy them. And I have purchased Herbivore products on my own, you know, trying them out. I just, I hadn't tried these two products before. While I like them, I don't feel like I fell in love with them. But I, like I said, I'm not going to say never will I repurchase them, but I'm not thinking about getting them at this point in time. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I also finished the uh triple brazilian butter ha hair mask from sol de janeiro y'all if you've been watching me you know i love this i will repurchase and it's almost time for me to restock on my hair mask so this will be one unless you, this is what i do i go through and i look at you know the hair mask and see is there any that uh, on my loves list and then i want to try and then I see how much I want to spend. This one will always be a repurchase. I don't know when or how soon I'm going to repurchase it, but I know I am. I also finished up this Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil Body Butter in the Whipped Vanilla Bean Scent. So at first, I dogged this body butter. Because I, I purchased this based off of the glam twins and i was like they were like this is this smells like a luxurious you know um vanilla scent that smells it doesn't smell cheap well it doesn't smell period it's so light that you can barely get a vanilla scent i mean barely and that turned me so off that I just put it up. Then I pulled it out and smelled this and I was like, is it about to turn? So I started using it and fell in love with the formulation. So would I repurchase this? I can see myself repurchasing this again because I fell in love with the formulation. Now the scent is nothing special. Now I did purchase like a four piece kit. So I'm gonna see if I fall in love with any other scents in the collection, but I can see myself getting this one again just if I wanted that formulation because I'm I, I really do love it. But scent wise, nothing special. All right, I also finished up a Dove exfoliating body polish in brown sugar and coconut butter, and I bought two of these last year because these were just hard to find, and it's a nice cocoa butter scent. It's a nice um. I consider these more of a body polish because even though it says this is the deep, you know, the highest level of exfoliation for Dove, to me it's not really, it's, it's not tree hut level exfoliation. And I think I did a video talking about all of these and the way I felt about them. I'll link that above. Check it out if you haven't seen it. So yeah, I have one more of these and I want to go ahead and finish that one too um before this winter season is over so we'll see if i make it but i did enjoy this um i wouldn't repurchase it this time because i have another one but even if i didn't i wouldn't repurchase because i have too many scrubs and i'd rather try something new than just get the same thing again okay i also finished the johnson and johnson's uh, lavender baby powder so I like to use this, you know, strategically on my body 
for you know sweat and just to stay fresh and it is nice but i think i found something i like a lot better so i don't know when i'm gonna repurchase this i'm sure i will but i it's i'm in no hurry to get it again at this time used to be that would be an automatic repurchase but not now okay y'all i got four more products to give you Woo, i'm tired so this is the nest madagascar vanilla perfume oil and before i even start talking about this i want to give a shout out to just plain jay girl when i was these were not these are roller balls and i wasn't getting anything coming out and i was like this is getting on my nerves and so she has a whole video showing how to pop your roller balls how to decant different things so i popped this roller ball out and i started adding it to this bare vanilla lotion and um other things to see if i was trying to decide do i want this because i go back and forth do i want a full bottle because so many people that I watch just love this and are obsessed with it. And I'm not. I'm just not. This to me is not. I wanted a sweet, light, feminine vanilla scent. This is not it to me. This is a vanilla coconut scent. And it reminds me the more I smell it. Like sometimes it'll sweeten up on my skin. But most times it reminds me, if you've used that vanilla and coconut body wash from Native, that's another one that I don't really like. The coconut mist from Sol de Janeiro. That's what I'm picking up more in this. And I wanted a pure, soft vanilla. And this isn't it. And so I'm not paying $98 for this because I don't love it. So... This isn't the vanilla oil for me that I love. And I've done a whole review on all the Nest perfume oils. I will link that above. Check it out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, finally popping this rollerball out and being able to put it all over. Because I did. I added to moisturizer. I could, and I could smell it over this lotion. And it's just not the type of vanilla I want. And I'm not willing to pay the price for this. Like I'm getting it now, it's it's just not. It is not the vanilla I want. So I'm good. I, I don't want a full bottle of that. I also finished the travel spray of the Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. I use this predominantly with the cherry, um, sugar cherry crisp. And I did enjoy this, but I have the layered version of Tom Ford's cherry, lost cherry. So I'm good because to me, they smell too similar. They're not exact dupes. This is more, like I said, it's a burning woody cherry. And I, I just, no, I'm not paying uh, the full, I'm not paying for a full bottle of this, even though I enjoy it when I have something to me that's so similar to it that I really wouldn't tell much of a difference when, it, when I'm wearing it. So I'm good for now on the purchasing the full bottle of that. I also finished up the travel size spray of Valentino Voce Viva. Y'all, I love this. This is my second travel spray I finished up in this. I think I also finished up like a little dabber of this too. And now I have my full bottle I'll be working on. I love this. This is a compliment getter for me anytime I wear it. It's a light, smooth, citrusy, vanilla, kind of musky, kind of, it's just, it's, it's good. Anytime, anywhere, love it. Valentino's Voce Viva. Last but certainly not least, I finished up Moonlight from Ariana Grande. And I thoroughly enjoyed this while I was wearing it. I was pairing these two together and I was in heaven. Heaven. So it's a plummy, marshmallowy, vanilla, fruity scent that I like. Will I repurchase it? Not at this time. I have so many fragrances I want to try that Ariana Grande, even though I like her fragrances, this, I felt like 
I had to drown myself in to be able to smell it on myself. So while I like it, I enjoyed it. Um, it's not on my list to repurchase. If I get to missing it, I'm going to say I won't ever repurchase it because I did enjoy it. And to me, it does smell really good. But it's just not, I have other fragrances I want to try and I've already, you know, I've, I've done this. So it's time to move on. It's not on the level to where I would just, whoa, I got to get it. It's not that level for me. It's let me see if I miss it because it's other things I want to try, you know, that I haven't tried. That I can now say, oh, I finished a perfume. Let me go get another one. <laughs> Which I don't need to. So, yeah, finish that up. So, y'all, those are all my empties. And that video, we, oh, Lord, this was long. I am afraid to edit this. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Wait a minute. I want to count how many mist I used up in this month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I use of eight mist. Eight mist. If we can keep that going, I mean, it, it won't. But that, that is good. I was really wanting to see how many mist I used up. So I'm proud of myself for that, okay? So um, as I was saying before I started wanting to count, leave me in the comments down below. Tell me what you used up for the month of January. I would really love to know. And please share this video with everyone who not only likes to be purchasing these products, but use them up, honey. And please don't forget to turn on your note to bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye